All right, thank you, Sarah. You know, in two weeks, Bay Area students will be back in the classroom, and one district is kicking off the new school year with big news. Yeah, this is a great story. Pinellas County recently showed us a report card of the district's progress, and the graduation is at 92%, the highest rate among Florida's 10 largest public school districts. Something to be proud of. Definitely, and I spoke with Dr. Lewis Brinson, the Minority Achievement Officer for Pinellas County Schools and other district leaders, about how they're breaking barriers. We have to make sure we provide equity. Dr. Brinson partnered with Michael Wynn about four years ago through a program called Foundation for Ensuring Access and Equity. Together, they became something of a one-two punch. Particularly for students from lower income backgrounds, first generation students, students attending Title I or otherwise low performing schools, that the focus was on just motivate them to do their schoolwork. Wynn believes students could do better. Time has reflected as much through numbers. 50% of the students we work with in the class of 2022 are attending college or school scholarships. One of them is Sydney Soskin. What are you studying? Uh, neuroscience and psychology. I'm a pre-med, so med school. <laughs> She'll be a junior at the University of Chicago. So I was like, in my head, I was like, I have a goal, and I want to get into the University of Chicago. This is video of her giving back to current students by explaining what worked for her as a high schooler. At the time, she and her mom were homeless. At the end of the day, you know, I was in a circumstance where if I didn't get a full ride to college, I wasn't going to college. Like, it, you can't just take out loans when you're living penny by penny. It's just not really how it works. Pinellas County Schools is also pushing Elevating Excellence. That runs year-round. So we had college tours. We had the ability to get their bright future service hours by doing service trips to the beach and cleanups. Lori Matway says students receive help with ACT and SAT preparation, and someone maps out their financial aid assistance. Is the hug that wraps around kids, because we want to make sure that we take away any barriers to college and career access. The embrace since 2013 has improved graduation rates. Our uh, graduation rate is tenfold. We're up to 92%, which is one of the highest in the state. The state of hope now for many students like Sydney is in a better place. I felt like everything I endured in my life like led up to this one moment of like a breakthrough. The evidence is if you give students hope for the future, then you can get them to work harder today. Yes, indeed. Get this. All high schools in the district will now have access to the college and career centers this year. By the way, we have a link on 10TampaBay.com to learn more about the Foundation for Ensuring Access and Equity program, Caitlin.